you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Enlistment, emancipation. You enlist and you are free again. Why should they do anything for us if we won't do anything for them? So in these slave states that are part of the Union, tens of thousands of black men do enlist because they see that enlisting is a direct path to freedom. Now, a lot of people would say, well, you know, it's not fair that they had to become soldiers and take the risk of dying. You know, they should just be given their freedom just outright. Well, um, but in any event, Duncan Winslow, you know, he is a slave, but he takes that deal, you know. I mean, for him, that's probably the best deal, you know, an offer I can't refuse. Um, you know, Lincoln is making this deal, and he says, well, that sounds all right to me. So, soldiers are black. Wow. Um, a lot of white men don't want to salute to a black officer. Uh, they don't want to train or camp with black soldiers. Uh, now, there are some black officers, including some black doctors and black chaplains who, who are also commissioned officers. But in the main, most of the officers are, are white. Um, just about all the enlisted men are black. For a while, black soldiers actually get less pay mm. than white soldiers. I mean, they have to fix that up and then grant to win the war first. No, no victory, no freedom. So you can imagine if you're a slave, what, you know, you got incentive because you see victory as being equal to freedom to keep fighting. And that's the inspiration that they at least give to me, that they could be great emancipators. And what could we do, you know, if we had that same fighting spirit uh, for ourselves. So uh, welcome to our uh, museum. Welcome to our story. Uh, welcome to our history. Um, if you have any questions, open the floor uh, for anybody.